Can I can I fucking just openly and honestly talk about the ice bucket challenge? Can I do that without fucking this McCarthyism fucking era of once the ball gets rolling, if you fucking go anywhere else, you're not supporting the troops, you fucking you're a you're a you're a commie, you you hate women or you know, it just that ice bucket challenge. I at this point I've been challenged by three different fucking people. Okay, the last one was last night, and it's this is this is what uh, the person texted me said. Hey, you know, go check out my ice bucket challenge. I love how it's about the person. It's so not even about the disease. Hey, check out my wacky response to ice cold water over my fucking head. And he goes, uh, "What the hell is it?" He said, "It's on Facebook." Um, hope you're good. I nominated you for the ice bucket ALS challenge. So I wrote back. I said, listen, dude, I live in a desert. All right. It's a $500 fine. If you waste water, I'm going to do the hundred dollar donation instead. So he goes, you prick. Well played. You can do it on the road and send me the video. And I wrote back. I'm like, dude, it's about raising money for ALS. Not what, not you watching me dump a bucket of ice over my fucking head. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, do you understand how precious water is to everybody and around the world? How much there's a shortage of it? We're over here going, ah! just dumping it over our heads. And it's to the point now, it's the disease is, is second banana to watching somebody's reaction. I know it's a fun fucking thing and it's raised over a hundred million dollars and all of that type of shit. But, uh, there's this pressure. Like if you don't fucking do it and you just give a hundred bucks, somehow you're an asshole. What I want to know is how many people just dump the bucket of ice over their head and it's another fucking, you know, me moment for them. And then they don't even give any goddamn money. Um, you know, this is just going to open a can of worm for all these other diseases. There's actually people in foundations right now sitting in a boardroom, okay, with fucking bagels and cream cheese sitting in front of them that everybody wants to go and grab, but no one wants to grab it first. So they seem like the person who just came there to eat. And they're sitting there brainstorming, trying to figure out how can we come up with our own ice bucket challenge so people give a shit about rickets. <laughs> You know, it's like when there's a hit fucking movie. Oh, my God. It's a hit movie with vampires. God damn it. Put vampires in everything. That's what's going to happen. What other natural resource can we use? Uh, Fred, the fresh air challenge. The aquifer ice bucket challenge. Everybody's got to go to fucking Nantucket and dump water over their head. I don't know. I don't know. It's a good thing because it's raising money. But I got to be honest with you. You know, there's not a lot of water left, people, if you really look at it. The only fresh water we got coming is the polar ice caps melting. <laughs> Do you know a lot of those blue blood cunts are going around the world and they're buying up property that sits on an aquifer because they know that water in the future is going to be equivalent to currency? Do you understand how much little information I had before I just made that unbelievably terrifying statement. Do you understand that, people? Why are you listening to this thing? Um, you know what's going to be a rough month is the Ice Bucket Challenge and then also the Pink Month in the NFL. All of these fucking things. Oh, man. I, I really hope. I just hope that the money actually gets to the people that need it. Uh, you know? Because that pink, the lady, from what I, from what I've, I've actually read on the internet, so God knows if it's even remotely true, she makes like three quarters of a million dollars a year, and I know she's raised a bunch of money and all that type of shit. But at the end of the day, if there weren't a bunch of women dying from breast cancer, she wouldn't have a job. It's just fucking weird. I guess it's you can say the same thing about a doctor, but a doctor is trying to. Well, I guess she's trying to get them better. I don't know. How do you justify pulling that kind of money? 
I guess you're sitting there going like, well, I raised $100 million. That's not even 1%. I took three quarters of 1%. Then again, three quarters of a million dollars, you're probably riding around a BMW. I bet that isn't painted pink, is it? You know, you want to make sure you got the resale value, don't you? What's the name of the lady that does the pink thing? Is it Pam? Is it Peggy? Does her name start with P? Um, all right. Anyways, this is the uh, Monday morning podcast, everybody, everybody, a really heavy one. We've talked about suicide, ALS, and uh, breast cancer. 